Hey, what's up everybody, it's Alex. In this video, I'm gonna teach you about Java method overriding. I made a video on overloading methods in the last video, it's on the screen now if you wanna check that out. First, if you're new here, my name is Alex. On this channel, I make a Java tutorial just like this one every single week, so if you might be interested in seeing that, then consider subscribing. Also, if you wanna get my favorite programming audiobook for free, there's a link to that in the description. So let's start learning about Java method overriding by just going to file new Java project together. We'll call it something like my class, Hit finish in the source folder, go to new class. We'll call it something like main because this is gonna have the main method. Just check, click this checkbox and then hit finish. Now you probably heard method overriding and were completely confused exactly how I was in high school and college, even after. But it is really, really simple and I can't wait to show you guys. Let's make two other classes. File new class, we'll call this dog. Hit finish, make one more class. We'll call this Chihuahua. Chihuahua. I have two Chihuahuas, fun fact. We just made two classes. All a class does is have variables and methods, also known as properties and things it can do. Let's give each class a bark method. Don't worry too much about all the syntax here. We'll just make a method with this little layout called bark. And all it's gonna do is print out bark, bark. Now let's give the chihuahua that same method, except the chihuahua is gonna go yip, yip. Because ch chihuahuas are a little smaller, their bark isn't as big. Let's call each of these methods in the main method since our main class is in the same package as the other two classes we can make, we can just create those objects right here. We'll do d.bark, and then we'll make our chihuahua. c.bark. If we save and run this, we'll get bark bark and yip yip. Right now, the dog and the chihuahua are completely independent of each other, but we actually want to relate them to each other. A chihuahua is a dog, so we can do extends dog. This just means it knows everything a dog can do in here. It's just giving it additional functionality and maybe changing a few things. So for example, if dog had the poop method, and this just prints out, dog is pooping, save and run, our chihuahua can poop as well. Since our chihuahua extends dog, we can do this. Don't worry, we're getting to overriding right now. Dog d equals new chihuahua. If we do d dot bark, this will run yip yip because it's a chihuahua. The chihuahua's bark method overrode, overrides the dog's bark method because it is a chihuahua. If the dog was just a dog, it would run bark bark. Let's go through this line by line again. When we click the green run button, we run code in the main method. We're creating a dog object called D but it's created using the chihuahua constructor. This works because it extends dog. If this didn't extend dog, this wouldn't work. This wouldn't make any sense at all. So we do extends dog to let it know that, hey, you can make dogs with this chihuahua class since it's a subclass, they're related. And if you make that dog with the chihuahua constructor and it has the same method as the dog, then it'll override that one with this new one. Let's do another example to try to make this even more clear for you. So say the average dog size is maybe um, like 20 pounds. That sounds about right, maybe. And we have a method called get average size. And all it does is print out 
the size um, average size okay now say we want to override that method if there's a chihuahua let's actually before I forget let's let's return that that value um, instead just to show you that it works with other things not just printing out this might help you in your projects more say we have the exact same thing in chihuahua except the average size of a chihuahua is maybe 10 pounds okay so we have the exact same method but the average size is different if we do the same thing now d dot that period brings up everything that our dog can do if we do d dot get average size since it's returning a value we'll print it out ourselves get average size save and run and it does the chihuahua's average size because the dog is using the chihuahua's constructor constructor means it's building the object it's creating an object with this class which works because it's a subclass and since it's a subclass that we're specifying it overrides the superclasses methods with its own i really hope that makes sense if this was using the original class dog then we'd see bark bark and 20 is the average size. But since we do chihuahua, it's using the chihuahua one and it's running yip yip and 10 average size. Since these methods are overriding these methods. So I hope this helped you. Let me know if it did in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.